Good morning, Anatomy students. What I'm going to be showing you today are the instructions on page 37 in your lab manual. We're going to be reading where it says middle lateral musculature. The instructions indicate um, that we're going to be cutting through the gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, and tensor fascia lata to remove these muscles and expose the layer underneath. So let's begin by cutting through the gluteus maximus. You will identify the gluteus maximus as this muscle right here. Okay, it will be a circular shaped muscle towards the tail of the animal. And the problem with cutting through the gluteus maximus is that there is, are layers underneath we'd like to preserve. So we need to be cautious when cutting through. So first we will pinch with our tweezers and pull upward and then we will make small shallow snips with the scissors to get through to the next layer. Then you will use your blunt dissecting probe to go underneath this layer of musculature, loosen it, then take your scissors and snip in a circular motion around the edges to remove the gluteus maximus completely. Again, pausing to loosen as much as needed. If you find that you have cut too far, use your blunt dissecting probe again to separate out and maintain the gluteus medius underneath. So you should be able to see a smooth, also oval, gluteus medius underneath. The second part of the instructions indicates that we should remove the biceps femoris. The biceps femoris is this large triangular shaped muscle right here. Um, the thing that you're going to want to focus on is not removing the cotto femoralis and semitendinosus muscles. Um, the semitendinosus is right here by the tail. It's a very thin muscle, so make sure you've separated that out so you're not cutting off that portion. And cotto femoralis is just to the inside here. Please make sure that you get your blunt dissecting probe down in there and separate that out. You're also going to want to loosen up underneath before you do any cutting because there is a muscle called the tenuissimus that runs underneath that we need to preserve. Once you have isolated the tenuissimus, you know that you're not cutting through it. Okay, You can make, again, small snips along the bottom separating with the blunt probe when needed. See, there's the tenuissimus as it runs down the back of the leg. We want to make sure to keep that intact. We're not cutting the uh, cotto femoralis either. We're making sure that we're just getting the biceps femoris. All right, and we can discard that piece. The last portion of the instructions ask us to cut through the tensor fascia lata and remove that muscle. The tensor fascia lata, which many of you found today in lab, is this flap right here that goes over the vastus lateralis. It's a small triangularly shaped flap. Some of you may have accidentally removed this or you may find that it is removed because of the fur removal process. If so, obviously you can skip this step. So we're going to lift up. We've loosened underneath with the blunt probe and we're just going to very gently trim that extra tissue and remove the tensor fascia lata. So now you should be able to very easily identify the vastus lateralis and the tenuissimus. Um, we have exposed the gluteus medius and followed all the instructions on page 37 in your lab manual.